here we freaking go. Shut up, you gay fags. If you don't like my story, then fuck off. P.S. It turns out Bloody Mary isn't a muggle after all, and she's a vampire. Or evil. That's they Moves House, okay? I was really scared about Voldemort all day. I was even... I was even upset when we went to rehearsals with my gothic metal band, the Bloody Gothic Rose 666. I am the lead singer of it and I play guitar. People say that we sound like a cross between Good Luck Charlie, Slipknot, and My Chemical Ru My Chemical Romance. The other people are in my in the band are Bloody Mary, Vampire, Draco, Ron, even though we call him Diablo now. He has black hair now with blue streaks in it, and Hagrid. Today only Draco and Vampire were depressed, so they weren't coming. And we wrote songs instead. I knew Draco was probably slitting his wrist. He wouldn't die because he's a vampire, the only way to kill a vampire with with a cross. There's no way I'm writing that. Or a stake. And Vampire was probably watching the depressing movie like The Corpse Bride, but I put on a black leather shirt and sh that showed off my boobs and tiny matching miniskirt that has said simple plan on the butt. You might think I'm a slut, but I'm really not. We were singing a cover of Helena at the end of The Voice. I suddenly bust into tears. But if you carry on this way, things are better if I stay. So long and good night. So long and good night. Yep. Ebony, are you okay? Bloody Mary asked in a concerned voice. The fuck do you think? I asked angrily. And then I said, well... Voldemort came and the fucking bastard told me to kill Harry, but I don't want to kill him because he's really nice, even if he did go out with Draco. But if I don't kill Harry, then Voldemort will kill fucking Draco! I burst out into tears and suddenly Draco jumped out from behind the wall. Why didn't you fucking tell me? He shouted. How could you? You, you fucking Bozar muggle bitch! Is that out of character? <laughs> I started to cry and cry. Draco started to cry, too, all sensitive. Then he ran out of crying. We practiced for one more hour. Then suddenly Dumbledore walked in all angrily. His eyes were all fiery, and I knew it wasn't because he had a headache. What have you done? He started to cry wisely. That's because he's not wearing this flat. I, uh, I can't read that. Ebony Draco has been found in his room. He committed suicide by slitting his wrists. Oh, I'm gonna have a migraine because of this. <laughs> okay, needed to calm down. I said stop flaming up, preps. If this chapter... If this chapter is stupid, then why... Blah, blah, blah. Thanks for my friend Raven for helping me. No! I screamed. I was horrified. Bloody Mary tried to comfort me, but I told her to fuck off, and I ran into my room crying myself. Dumbledore had chased after me, shouting, but he had to stop when I went into my room because he would look like a perv that way. Anyway, I was crying tears of blood, then I slid both my wrists. They got all over my clothes, so I took them off and jumped into the bath angrily while I put on Lincoln Park song at full volume. I grabbed a stake and almost stuck it to my heart to commit suicide. I was so fucking depressed. I got out of the bathtub and put on a black low cut dress with lace all, all over it sadly. I put on black high heels with pink metal stuff at the ends and six pairs of school earrings. I couldn't fucking believe it. Then I looked out the window and screamed. Snape was spying on me and he was taking a videotape of me and looping and masturbating to it. They were sitting on broomsticks. Ew, you fucking parv, stop looking at me naked. Are you pedos or what? I screamed, putting on a black towel with a picture of Marilyn Manson on it. Suddenly, Vampire ran in. Abracadabra! He yelled at Snape. 
And he yelled at Snape and Lupin and pointed his wand. God. I took out well, my gun and shot Snape and a zil and Lupin a zillion times. And they both started screaming in the camera book. Suddenly Dumbledore ran in. Ebony, it has been revealed that someone is new! He shouted, looking at Snape and Lupin. And then he waved his wand suddenly. Hagrid ran outside on his broom and said, Everyone, we need to talk. What do you know, Hagrid? You're just a little Hogwarts student. I may be a Hogwarts student. Hagrid paused angrily. But I'm also a Satanist! This cannot be! Snap said. Snape said in a crisp voice as blood dripped down where his, from his hand where Dumbledore's wand had shot him. There, there must be other factors. You don't have any! I yelled madly. Lupin held up the camera triumphantly. The lens may be ruined, but the tape is still there. I felt faint. More than I, us more than I normally do how it feels when you don't drink enough blood. Why are you doing this? He said, Lupin said angrily while he rubbed his dirty hands on his, on his clock. Oh. Oh. Oh, God, I just, <laughs> And then I heard the words that I had heard before, but not from him. I don't know whether to feel shocked and happy or to bite him and drink his blood because I felt faint. Because... Because, Hagrid said as he, and he paused in the air dramatically, waving his wand in the air. He swooped, he, then he swooped in me, singing to the tune of the gothic version of a song by 50 Cent. Because you're gothic, Snape said, a little afraid, with a little fear in his voice. Snap. Snape asked in a little afraid voice because he was afraid it might it might be because he was connected to Satan. Because I love her! Chapter 2 I was about to slit my wrists again with the silver knife that Draco had given me in case anything happened to him. He had told me to use it valiantly against an enemy, but I knew that we must go both go together. No! I thought it was Hagrid, but it was Vampire! He started to scream. Oh my fucking god, no! My scar hurts! And then his eyes rolled up. I could only see his red whites. I stopped. How did you know? I saw it! And my scar turned back into a lightning bolt. No! I ran up closer. I thought you didn't have the scar anymore! I shouted. I do, but Diablo changed it into a pentagram for me, and I always cover it up with foundation, he said back. Anyway, my scar hurt, and it was turning back into a lightning bolt. Save me. Then I had a vision of what was happening to Draco. Voldemort has him bondage. Anyway, I was in the school nurse's office now, from recovering from my slit wrist. Snap and Lupin and Harrod were there too. They were going to St. Mango's after they recovered because they were pedophiles, and you can't have those fucking pervs teaching in a school with a lot of hot girls. Dumbledore had, had compensated the video camera. They took of me naked. I put my finger. I put my middle finger up at them. Anyway, Hagrid came into my hospital bed, holding a bouquet of pink roses. Ebony, I need to tell you something. He said in a very serious voice, giving me the roses. Fuck off! I told him. You know I fucking hate the color pink anyway, and I don't like fucked up preps like you. I snapped. Hagrid had been mean. Hagrid had been mean to me before. Get being gothic. No, Ebony. Hagrid says. These are not roses. What are they, goths? Are you a poser? What? Are they goths to you, poser prep? I asked. I was angry because he brought me pink roses. I saved your life! He yelled angrily. No, you didn't, I replied. You saved me from getting Harris Pilton p video made from your shower and being viewed by Snape and Lupin, who masturbated to it, he added silently. Whatever, I yelled angrily. 
He pointed his wand at the pink roses. These aren't roses. He suddenly looked at them with an evil look in his eye and muttered, But if you honestly wanted you, that's all you had to say! That's not a spell, that's a My Chemical Romance song. I corrected him wisely. I know, I'm just walking up my vocal cords. Then he screamed. Oh god, I don't think I can read this. Oh god, oh god, I quit. I'm done, I'm done, I am done with this. I'm going to make chicken nuggets and then die in a hole because my immortal freaking broke me. It broke me. Dear Lord, dear Lord, why? Why me? Why me? Why did I subject, why did I subject myself to this? Why did I do it? Why the fuck did I do it? This is not okay. None of this is ever okay. Oh god, this is the Bogonopico of fanfictions. Ugh.